These are dual swords. Two halves of a single weapon. Don't think of them as separate, because they're not. They're just two different parts of the same whole. Hey everyone, welcome back. As discussed in the previous video, I'm going to be working on Zuko's swords from Avatar The Last Airbender. Here I have all of the parts that I'm going to be used for making these props. And with a purple sharpie, I've marked where I'm going to be cutting a channel for my armature. The armature is just a support structure that goes in the prop, in this case a 316 steel rod. So I take my X-Acto knife and I cut along the mark, just going in deep at a 45 degree angle, and then I connect it on the other side there, just trying to connect my two pieces for a nice clean V cut, taking that inside out, and then doing the same with the other three pieces. Now I can already tell you that this is not going to be deep enough. We need to be completely flush with the surface of the foam. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go in with my Dremel and we're just going to send it a little bit deeper. And this is really nice for also kind of cleaning it up too. Obviously it makes a mess, but we're going to just vacuum it off screen. And you see here I have the rod and I'm just kind of testing, making sure that all the pieces fit where I want them to. And once I'm confident with that, what we do is we go in with our heat gun and we heat seal each of the pieces. We just close up that foam. We put on our latex gloves, we put on our vapor mask because I am going to be touching that all together with barge contacts in it. Um, barge is a great material and here I can use a makeup brush to kind of just spray around a little more, make sure it's not blobby. And after waiting a few minutes, it'll get tacky. So I'll go in and first attach the handle, then the hand guard, and then the void, making sure that I am getting glue between the pieces. Um, as well as attaching it to the pole and at the end our results are really good they look like this so on our next video i'm going to be attaching the back to them so i'll hope you check that out